Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media, I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. And yes, I am cheaper and better than the BBC. You get, I bring you, I bring you entertainment and facts and things like that, and, and, and I do sometimes bring you the news, and my opinions as well. And this is my opinion on Wheeler Dealers starring Mike Brewer and Ed China. So, let's get on with it. So, what is Wheeler Dealers all about? Well, Wheeler Dealers, it was a new concept. For British television really yes there's been care programs before and there was care programs in America what came over here like overall in and punk my ride and things like that. but when Mike Brewer and Ed China came to the screen with Wheeler Dealers it was a different concept of doing a motoring show basically and and their concept was is Mike goes out to buy the cars he goes out and buys the best car he can for the money because he's only got a small amount of money in the first couple of seasons of this yeah you know, so he yeah you know, he goes out and buys a cheap car and he brings it back to Ed and Mike tells him what's wrong with the car and then Ed has to fix it cheaply basically and that was the concept uh, and that had never been done before in, in in the UK and things like that so that was the whole idea to show you what a car dealer goes through so that's that is the concept and it was a new concept at the time and it did really well it, it really did take off even though it were on sky and, and discovery and things like that um the, the first production of it was from Atterboy, and and they you know they figured how they could film it and how, how it would be comfortable to have a tv crew in a small area so ed can walk around the car and fix it and they did all that and and Mike will like, you know, say, OK, we can get this done, and yeah, we'll do that. So he gets a car, they bring it in, he brings it into Ed, Ed has a look at it, and he says, well, it's a bit rotten, Mike, couldn't you do any better? He says, well, if I'd have, if I'd have got it more expensive, we wouldn't made a profit. So that's what he always says, and he says, OK, fair enough, we can, you know, yeah. are you going to do it? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. So he gets it in Gary, and he goes round doing it, and you see Ned, doing things and his own fixes as well and a little bit of science involved but also you do see him use new techniques to bring cars for life back to life and things like like giving cars a clean on the inside you know by by using new cleaning equipment what goes through the engine and out through the tailpipe and things like that you know they were bringing a complete new concept into tv but the first season were all about you know showing you what Mike does as a car dealer to get a car to market and that's what it was all about and yes it, it was a good one you know the concept was sound it worked I mean when he eventually took this to America full time the American TV crew they didn't know how to film it and I know what Mike Brewer says well you're gonna have to figure it out because I'm here you know you know, you, know, you signed me up so you're gonna have to figure this out and they did figure, you know, they did figure it out, and they figured all the camera angles out, and they figured out how 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 not to get in the way of Ed China and things like that, you know. But that was through my, uh, I think Mike and Head helped there. It's as simple as that. Um, but that's the first thirteen seasons of Wheeler Dealers, and I've got all thirteen, the very you know all thirteen seasons with Mike Bro and Ed China, which Ed China. Yes, he is a good mechanic. He, he really is. Um, and then when they bought in Ant Anstead, I thought, well, yeah, well, that'll work. It's not going to be a China, obviously, but it, it, it will work. But like what like what Mike said as well in, in an interview, in, and he's done this several times on other TV shows where he said, no one is bigger than the show. He says, you know, Head thought he were a bigger star than the shirt and, he's, and, and he wasn't and, and that was Mike's opinion on that and, and that's my opinion as well no one is bigger than wheelie dealers you know what I mean and Mike's proven that because they got Ant Anstead in and Ant, it worked with Ant Anstead people might not have liked it but I'll tell you now they, they didn't lose any viewing ratings at all you know what I mean through it yeah you know, people were slagging it off saying oh well it's not right you know, you know. Yeah, but you're still watching it. Why are you still watching it? Yeah, why are you still being loyal? I I watched Wheeler Dealers right from the very first time it ever started in 2003, right through to 2013. 
with season 13 and I, I stuck with it. I wanted to see what Ant, how would Ant Anstead do. And he did really well, um, to tell you the truth. He, he, he really did. No one's missed a China at all. Well, I didn't. I know that. Yes, it was disappointing. But, again, the show must continue and they had to find another mechanic. They couldn't have found anyone better than Ant Anstead. So, that's what they do. So, Ant Anstead took over from season 14, 15 and 16. I think it was 15. I think he did three seasons. I'm absolutely sure he did. And then, Mike Brewer were doing that. He, he did trading up as well. And he's also done My Dream Car. Buying people's dream car. Where you give him your car and some money. He, he goes out and trades up until he gets you, you your dream car, basically. And he's done that. He's done a couple of seasons of that. And, 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 that, and that's really took off. But he's done that with Elvis, uh, F1 Elvis. Elvis Priestley. Um, he's really done that with that. And also now he, he, he shot another season of Wheeler Dealers back in the UK because he's back in the UK, he's Mike Brewer, so that's what it's all about. Um, yeah, I mean, so so now he's involved with that, and yeah, he's doing a real a real good job. They haven't lost any any ratings at all, in my opinion. And in my opinion, the show's gone on from strength to strength as well. Yes, there's been you know, you know two new mechanics t to do it, but why not? Yeah, I mean, it, it's as simple as that. Yeah, I mean, and it's the way it goes. Yeah, people, I, I, I think people just want to work with Mike Brewer. I, I, I really do. I mean, let's take Mike Brewer. I mean, Mike Brewer's do, he's done wheels on deals and things like that. He, you know, he's done his own TV show with Ed China as well. Um, and, and then he did Wheel of Dealers and things like that. So there's a lot, there's a long list of what Mike Brewer's done. He's even been on the front line, you know, you know documentary called The Front Line. Well, it was a TV series, wasn't it, where you, where you saw Mike in, in combat gear and that. And he, he was interviewing soldiers over in the, I think it was in Cobra, Afghanistan. And uh, I saw that. Um, that's how I know about Mike Brewer. And he's really good. I, I mean, I, I, I do like the way he does things on TV. He's very polite, he's very respectful and things like that. And yes, Wheel of Dealers, um, first season, I thought it was good. I, I thought it was fantastic. I, I, I enjoyed it. The concept was a good concept. And that now other people will be copying that concept. So yeah, I mean, you, you got to understand. The very first episode of Wheel of Dealers. No one had, had, had done this before. At all. <clears throat> Not in the UK in any case. So it was a bit of a concept for Mike Brewer to do this. And, and, he, and he pulled it off. But don't forget. I don't know if it was Mike Brewer's way, his own idea for this. I, I don't know. All I know is it was a good one. It, it really was a good idea. Whoever come up with this this concept of Mike Brewer or any car dealer going out to buy a car and then bring it back to be fixed and to show you what they go through to bring that car to market. I thought that was a good concept. I, I really did. And I really enjoyed Wheelie Deals. And, I mean, I haven't got them all. I've got... I've got from 1 to 14. I've got the first season of Ant Anstead. I got the second or the third. And I haven't got uh, my dream car neither. Uh, at this moment in time. So it is what it is. But I do like Wheel of Dealers. Um, I've enjoyed it since 2003. Since my dad died in 2003. That has been that helped me through. Yeah, Wheel of Dealers helped me through a very bad time. It basically saved my life. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Um, it, it made me concentrate on something else than rather than my dad dying and things like that. Um, I, yeah, obviously I was still upset about my dad dying and that, and yeah, went to you know we did the funeral and things. But at the end of the day, you do need a distraction, and and that was my distraction. Wheel of Dealers Art PS Two, that's what I used to do. So there you go. So thank you. If, if you've liked this, please give me a thumbs up. Please like this. Please please. Uh, Please consider subscribing to my channel um, if you're new. So please subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon here. All that will let you know when I'm uploading another video. Also, come back from time to time to make sure that you're still subscribed to me. Because YouTube, the algorithm has a nasty habit of unsubscribing people. So I will keep ask, reminding you to do that. So please come back from time to time. Also, please share the video to your friends and family and to other social media. 
like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and also use the comment section below. I welcome all comments and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. Enjoy your motoring.